A mural project is now underway in Mashaka Streets to commemorate the heroes of that area and draw awareness to their significant contribution to community development. Jesse Leos tells us more. Visual artist Gary Butte is busy transforming the empty out walls of the Mindu Philip Park into an ode to outstanding citizens of the Marsha area. It is a mural project that depicts the likeness of these community heroes, ensuring that current and future generations know of their legacy. Butte listed some of those featured on what has now been dubbed the Heroes Wall. We have, um, we have um, Alicia John, who was the principal and the JP. Um, in Marsha, we have Pan Andrew Shining, who has made his contribution in Steel Pan. Um, we have Joyce Ogis, who was a cultural icon. She has done a lot in, in on sports as well. Um, we have Arnold Clowden. Arnold Clowden has done a lot in, his, in sports, in football, in coaching the younger generation. And I think that he should also get some kind of recognition. We also have um, James Belgrave, is another one who has. He, he, in fact, James Belgrave has, has a court inside the, 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 the Mindo Philip Park. Uh, that he made his own contribution to see that the sports um, fraternity develop um, back in, in, in those days. Through the visual aesthetic, murals are said to promote a sense of belonging and strengthen community identity. From the onset, there was engagement with Marsha residents on the figures best suited for this recognition. This project has, uh, has been um, going on for over um, a period of about two months. Um, it really started with conceptualizing, um, doing research, um, engaging the school. Um, I must say that the Marsha Primary School um, has really been involved in the research um, with the teachers and students, getting information on the on on the people of the of the of, of the of the community, and um, getting a lot of feedback from from the people as to who's best to to be on the on the wall. Though incomplete, the hero's wall has already become a conversation starter with residents who are eager to learn more about the individuals being painted. The muralist hopes for versions of this type of commemoration to be recreated in other communities island-wide. I think it's something that can also be replicated in many other communities because I am very, very certain that a lot of communities have hidden heroes that people do not know of. And, um, the only way you can get to know about them is to put them out there and um, this is why I will say it again that we have come up with that concept for people to recognize their heroes and see how much that they have contributed and how now the younger generation could follow that, that, that pattern. Meantime, the Marsha project is still in its first phase. An unveiling of the finished mural will be held upon its completion. This East Castries mural is the latest undertaking by Gary Butte, who has over 20 years of artistry under his belt. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting.